Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVSI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And I don't mean to state the obvious, but this thing was an absolute just all over the place, uh, pretty much the talk of the town. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is why, why, why do you need reality TV when you can watch situations like this? But all in all, like I said, price everywhere. And I get it, there is reports and this is true or is that not right or what? At the end of the day, price action is what's gonna dictate pretty much everything. I mean, so if everything is false that's been out there, well then guess what? And if the company's truly strong, guess what? What, it, what it, the, the chart will correct itself. The price action will correct itself and that'll be all reflected in the chart. So that's why, you know, when all this noise is going on, you ought to just kind of go back and see, well, what is the price actually doing? And right now, to be fair, the price is doing a good job of hanging right here around that pink line. Now, if you have a very basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period simple moving average, and that's what that line on my chart is representing. Again, if you don't, the 200, ask anybody that uses charts, like have you ever heard of, heard of the 200 period? It's a very universal one. And the big question going forward is, you know, what is gonna happen with the price in regards to that level? Meaning, if the price, you know, kind of starts to go sideways now for the next few days, perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden, you know, starts to work its way back upwards, well then, hey, Maybe all the hoopla and drama that was occurred today, it must have just been overblown and you know the chart's gonna recover. Because remember, at the core, if the company truly is strong, it is going to succeed. And it is going to welcome shorts because remember what a short is, right? A short is a guaranteed buyer. So if you are truly strong as a company, what do you want? You want guaranteed buyers, which are shorts because you're all the company needs to be thinking is, yeah, come on in shorts because we're truly strong and you're gonna be you know, a guaranteed buyer when the, the chart starts to recover. Now on the flip side of things, if the chart starts to break below and you know head to the downside of this pink line, well, at that sign, that's where it becomes more and more credible that, you know what, maybe all the hoopla from today has some credibility behind it. I mean, if it bounces here, but then just rolls back over and continues on down, all right, maybe the stuff from today has some more credibility behind it. Because maybe the, maybe whatever's being said, which was clearly bearish, has some truth because a truly strong company, as I've already alluded to, is going to press forward and, you know, you know, push past all that other stuff. So it's a very interesting setup right now, uh, but it, you know, it, it's not really rocket science to figure out who ultimately is, is gonna win out here. It, it's really based on that pink line and we'll see you know, who can ultimately hold above it because again, that just boils back to basic charts and that's a level that uh, is by no means some sort of like, wait, you're using some bizarre indicator, Clay. No, it's the 200 period. That's about as traditional as it gets. So over the next you know, several days this week, let's see how the price acts you know, relative to this one. And I think that'll do a, a lot in terms of kind of, kind of peeling back all the layers uh, that were thrown into the mix today. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.